Yeah, my life in quarantine ain't really, or like during that lockdown shit, really ain't changed. When you come from like that blue collar shit, <laughs> it was kind of weird. The the word like essential, kind of like really, just felt like a mask for a different word. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I I felt like, uh, for sure, like like my work, I'm, I was an electrician mm -hmm. at the time, <clears throat> and I I was working on like school buildings and like helping build Amazons, um, setting the power poles for that, light poles in the parking lot, or main power from one side to the building to the other type shit. Mm -hmm. That's what I did um, okay. before working for where we are right now. I ain't gonna disclose it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> for sure. <coughs> but uh, <clears throat> ever done like physical, like hard labor work? Yeah, I did a little bit. <clears throat> what'd Dabbled. You, what'd you do? Um, I think it was a order selector or something like that. I think that's what it was called. What the hell is that? I was working for Penske. And they, I guess they like, <clears throat> they did like distribution for like all the Kroger's in Michigan. Okay. So it's like there's like you essentially work in this fridge, this massive fridge, and you like pick like you know different products and stuff, put them mm -hmm. on a pallet, and then you run like orders for like twelve hours straight. It's a bunch of physical labor lifting like hundred right. pound boxes, fifty pound boxes, right? And you're doing it nonstop. And then they got like this whole thing on top of that where it's like they got you working mandatory overtime, so you'd be working six days a week for like months at a time <coughs> I was like man I ain't about that bro <laughs> I ain't my shit bro like I realized it felt like you were going to the gym every day which is dope but it's like you know how you need that cool down time mm -hmm. for your arms to like rebuild mm -hmm. you never got that time right so you were like constantly in pain bro shit was crazy bro, bro. I can't tell you like that's basically <clears throat> how uh so when I when I uh when I first got here, the first company I worked for, <clears throat> I'm not going to obviously say what it is, but, but like, they gave me enough work. <laughs> Long okay. story short, I was working a lot of hours. Okay. But it's physical labor. Mm -hmm. I'm building pools. Huh? Like, cement, and then doing the electrical also, going off of my off time, and <clears throat> hooking the power up, and helping do all that shit. And it was great, you know, but, like, the price that it, they were getting me at, <laughs> definitely you know, the dab. He definitely was not worth worth whatever they were paying for. I was being paid like twenty something and it, it, it sweet when, reality, mother of when you're you're doing I was doing three trades at once in my eyes. I was doing electrical, the plumbing, the cementing, the the bolting down of the walls and Jesus everything. Jesus Christ. You know, I was I was doing everything. I was just like, Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> So I was like, is this worth what I, sometimes you just got to look in a mirror and just be like, is this worth it? You know? Mm -hmm. So I just, I had to stop there and then be like, I got to find something else. Mm -hmm. So I did. So. Okay. So I was good. So you, you happy where you are right now? Right? Oh, hell yeah. Cool day. Cool day. I'm great. Better quality, better pizza, better pizza. Bro, you know, uh, Little Caesars is the fucking sponsor of the NFL right now, I think. Ain't no way. Yeah, they want, they they are. Really? <laughs> That's pretty big. Michigander company. Huh. Little Caesars is established here. Yeah. So, That's crazy, man. Yeah. I think Who did so. it last year? Uh, it was Papa John's. Papa John's? His racist <clears throat> ass. Yeah. You know, canceled. Yeah. Good thing it's Shaq now, though, right? I yeah, mean, like, yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even really like Papa John's like that. Really? I don't know anybody who actually likes Papa John's like that. My family do. I'm going to be honest. My mom and dad, they're like, or a motherfucking Papa John's. 
thin crust pizza, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <clears throat> it's good. Is it? They're from the south. Like we're from the south. So yeah. Gonna... <laughs> what the? Shit's Papa weird. Jones. But um, <clears throat> welcome to the podcast. You know, uh, it's Nikki J. I'm here with one of my good friends, and or at least I would like to call my friend. You know, don't want to. Oh, we're we'll stepping back. Okay. Well, uh, for, like we, uh, like I said, we won't disclose where, but we met at work. Mm hmm And, uh, you know, turns out, this is my man, uh, Jashar. Um, it's, Howdy. It's just Jashar on, uh, Jashar Official on Instagram, right? She is. She is it is. on, uh, like everywhere else, too? <coughs> yeah, I got an official website. Go oh, you Jashar. got a website? Yeah, it's JasharOfficial.com. Oh, okay. This has got like all my videos, my music, okay, articles and stuff just written. Okay, a lot of stuff. And a little nice edit, guy. little edit, you know. You know, nice guy. That's what I do, dog. You know, I appreciate. You know, it. I got you. <laughs> but man, first I got to. I want to say I was like, dude, in the back of my mind before you got here, I was saying I hope he brings all of his ice. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. So, so is that is this a G Shock? Nah, this what is, is that? Uh, it's a little piece I got. I want up. I hold, mean, hold that up to hold that. No, yeah, hold that up. Like, it's a nice little piece. God, I mean, it's it's bright enough for him to see it from there for sure. I mean, it's it's pretty. It makes me happy. But like, it keeps my my wrist on the hot. On the hot. <laughs> <laughs> How many? How many neck chains you got? You got three. I got just two on. Oh, it's just two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. said you said that one was a bit, right? Yeah, this one, this one was a, a little pricey. It's beautiful. God, dang. thanks, man. I appreciate God. it. Appreciate it. So like, how, so we're so. Did you go to a jeweler or is it like like one of the? Could I go to like a fucking K jeweler? No, like? this was this was a jeweler that I went to. Uh, well. uh... These, what, this one and this one, this from a couple of years ago. Uh, I think it was like sometime after tour or something like that. Oh shit! So you've been on tour? Yeah, yeah. We I wound up going on this Def Jam tour. Def Jam. <coughs> it was called um, Streets Most Wanted. Okay. We hit like Wisconsin, Memphis, New York, Chicago, a bunch of other places, Philly. Okay. New York. I say New York. Here in Michigan. Yeah. Here in Michigan. We did like maybe two, three shows in Michigan. Okay. But it was dope, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. It was horrible for me. What do you mean? What? I'm, I'm not a street artist. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I so, see. I see. Yeah. So, like, I think my manager at the time, he just told me, like, you know, all right, we're going to, you know, we, we got you a tour. Like, and like I'm like, got, oh like shit! You're a, you're a family man, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. I like, won't disclose. Let that. me go. Like, but like, you know, like, hey man, I ain't on this like gang shit. I, I got, I got kids. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? You know? Is that what you say? Okay. But it's like, you know, I was like, oh, this is my first tour. I'm gonna just go on it. Def Jam was a part of it. And we were like opening for this artist. Um, he had like this multi platinum song. M City Jr. It was called a song called "Addicted to My Ex." That shit went viral, and then we were opening for him. The dude was super dope, by the way, MCJR. Okay. If you do want to listen to that song, that shit, that I have not. Yeah! I'm taking my new to places I took her. She cannot afford. Then I posted on Instagram stunting. She trying to ignore. You mad or no? Yeah! I bought it. Listen to that one yet? But um, I just listen to your music. That's all. Oh, thanks, man. But, uh, yeah, he was super cool. We wound up opening it for him. And then I realized it was, like, a bunch of street dudes. And I'm just, like, just kind of... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this in-between. Like, we, we did, like, a gang of interviews, right? We were doing interviews in Chicago, mm -hmm. um, New York, with Doggy Diamonds. And I think we had gotten to Detroit. And then I showed up with the rest of, like, the other people who was opening. And I sat down, and it was like... So you gotta be like the ladies, man. You like the singer, and I'm like, nah, man. I don't sing. I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so like, like my image didn't fit, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I see. Like, I got, like, a, a more stylish in, you're image. You're just yourself. Than a, a, I, th I think just right now you're just building yourself, which yeah. is just the main important yeah. focus part of it. But also, I was going to say, like, well, at least you aren't, like, the... <clears throat> I mean, it ain't bad, but I was gonna say at least you aren't like the funny type dude, the funny rapper. I yeah, mean, like, I mean like the joke rapper. Yeah, you know. I, I mean like, like a lot of those. I mean, it's but a, there's some of them that's dope. Like Lil Dicky, <clears throat> I think mean, he's dope. I'm a, I'm a, I'm sorry. Ugly God was my first concert ever. Ugly so, God. So he's from the South though. He's from Houston. So mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> you know, just just then. It was, even though at that time it was his prime time, it, I don't know if you remember the song "Water." Yes. Anytime that song. <laughs> yes. As you sip in the water, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by water. <clears throat> but uh, the time that song was my shit. By the way, I, I just think the time. Yes, that song. <laughs> water on my neck. <laughs> Dude, that the time that that came out, and that just the peak of of like that music era that 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 ugly god, you know, every other artist that was just music SoundCloud wise to me was just kind of like hitting. I don't know if you I mean, really Bill Gotti hit. was in there. Yeah, that's where the cold like Minnesota, mm -hmm. fucking you know one night era. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dexter. That, when I first heard one night, bro, I remember being so angry. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Were and you then that music shit then? grew on me. Yes, that shit grew on me so heavy. Where were you then? Where were you uh, during those times? Like, what time was that? That's like uh, that's that's 2016, 2017. That's, yeah, that's 2016, 2017. I, I think 2016, 2015. Yeah, I think that's I. I was I rebranded myself as Jashar, so at the time okay. I was JSR. Okay. And I think I had just put out like my s second studio album, and then we did the tour. I think we shot like a couple videos at it during that. Met a couple people on tour. That was super dope. But yeah, I was that's what I was up to at the time. Chilling. <laughs> I don't want this to sh I don't, man. I ain't trying to make this sound like a flex or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like this is real well, shit. Well, it's just what you were doing. Yeah. That's, all, that's all I'm wondering. So like it, it is what it is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, pe I I've met people that have, that have been in, some doors and in some rooms with some, you know, kind of like you say, some pretty high important people and like that when they step in like you know to that musical like space that is, you know. <clears throat> like who? Like who? Do you, like you said, Def Jam. Mm -hmm. It's a real fucking record label. Once you said Je Def Jam, I'm kind of like, oh shit. I mean, Snoop run Def Jam now, right? I think. I think Snoop run Def Jam. Does he? That's crazy. I will fact check that. But is uh, it Death Row? It, oh, it might be Death Row. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it? Fuck. Yeah, I think it's Death Row. Death Row, Def Jam. You fact checking it? Uh, let me type this in. Fuck, right it's Death Row. <laughs> ah, I lose my hip hop card. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's Death Row, bro. Yeah. Well, well, who the fuck owns Def Jam? Jay Z used to be at the head for a second, but I think he passed it on to somebody else. It's crazy. I heard it was like a lot of work being at the top like that and he didn't want to do all that. So he's like, so he chose gonna, Rockefeller? Let me just step down and then He said, yeah, title. Rockefeller's better. That sounds like a... I mean, it's great. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but he, he, he just said, nah. Are you sure? Like, why? Oh. I love, I love Jay-Z, though. I think, like, confidently, I could, I could say... Because he's at least active. I, I say, like, top tier. He deserves to be, like, one or two in my in my book. Yeah. Like, at least, like, due to, like, stats-wise. Yeah. And, like, where you come from. Like, that guy was in the Marcy Project soundtrack. Now he's part owner of the NFL. Yeah, man. And fucking... It's crazy, like, the amount of relevance that he has. 
because like tech his music was kind of like ahead of my generation so it's like i, I wasn't even brought up on jay-z like that and the fact that he's as relevant still on top of being like what a billionaire having all this mm. all this type of shit shit is crazy man just a testament of the time that he could just reign like that you know what i'm saying mm. for context how, how old are you i'm 35 all right all right yeah. i mean like shit 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 <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking i'm 25 fam. <laughs> yeah yeah so. man that's what i'm saying like for him to for you to even bring him up like that it's like the the generations as he's just covered the oh. years that he's just been like well no relevant. yeah i think that's very impressive well no i think i just at that point you just have to kind of give credit where credit's due though mm -hmm. you know also so like uh like yeah it's it's one of i hate to be like this x x like he said in his first no jumper interview mm -hmm. He said, How, where you learn to rap like that? Uh, he said, well, first thing I ever did, he's like, he's like, uh, I listened to the old heads. <clears throat> mm. He's like, you just, you just learned the base of rap and how it was done, and I started there, and that's how I learned to rap. So I listened to shit like Jay, Pog, just all basics uh -huh. like that. But he would also be like, you know, Wu Tang, you know, shit like that. You talking about Triple X? Yeah. What? Yeah. So he said, I just learned how the old heads do. That's why whenever you, I don't know if you ever go back in the catalog, but whenever you hear songs like Riot or like um, the Joey Badass song that he has. Yeah. Like, just, <clears throat> he just, like, like it's it's insane. Like, he, he sounds like one of the old heads to me, yeah. at least. He's a real, like, imitation rapper, at least how I think, to an okay. extent. So, that's, that's at least... That's why I'm such a fucking nerd about that guy. Oh, at least. okay. And I've been listening to that I guy. I got a lot of respect for that dude. I, I've been listening to that guy 2014, 2015, like Vine days. Mm -hmm. Whenever the fucking... I've been, I saw a Vine, and it was like one of his songs playing. It was like obviously Vine's seven seconds. Yeah. And when you hear seven seconds of someone screaming in a song, yeah. you're like... I need to hear. <laughs> Where need, is this coming from? I need to see where this leads. Yeah. And and like how it starts first off. Why the YouTube walk in for like so, hours on well, end? Nah, like searching in SoundCloud. Yeah. Just just, or also looking in the comments, just being like, who is this? And then learning people people keep saying triple X, triple X, triple X, and then I'm like, all right, yeah. all right, do my research. So at that point, it just kind of, the rabbit hole just extended from there. Yeah, you find like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I remember it was a few times like I'm looking for a song, and it's like you hear like seven seconds of that shit, and then you go through the person's whole album, like their current album, and none of them is that song, bro. That shit made me so mad because I was looking. There was this, I don't know, it was this girl twerking in this video. <laughs> On Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, she hit, got this song playing in the background. So I like replayed it like four times. I looked in the comments to see like, does anybody ask about what that song is? Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about, oh, you're beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to sip for you. You know, all this type of yeah, weird yeah. shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? I'm like, usually. nobody's saying nothing about the song in the background. What the fuck? So no, then I had to... Usually, you, uh, I, I know what you mean. You have to, like, look for the one person that, that's, like, song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that dude wasn't there. So I'm listening to the song over and over again, and I'm like, okay, I think that kind of sounds like Tori. Okay, let me... So I go through, like, Tori's whole album. Then I'm like, oh, he released, like, three albums in, like, the oh, past okay. couple years. You know what I'm saying? It's not through the three albums. Then I found that it was, like, this kind of mixtape that he put out. Chick then I found out Chris Brown's on there, and I'm like... Yep. Yeah, bro. Yep. It took me literal hour to find this song. Just going through somebody. So you're album. saying about when you found about Tory Lanez? No, this is um, this was a uh, no. I, I already knew about Tory Lanez, but like this was like I say, that's kind of something the in the way. background. I was just like, this shit sounds crazy. Yeah, you're just saying like just in just general. trying to match the voice. Yeah, because you like nobody's gonna tell me. Mm -hmm. It's wild. Yeah. That's why I love the internet sometimes. That's the only good thing about the internet. It's mm -hmm. like, it's just, <clears throat> it just expands my catalog of music. 
right. in my taste at that point. Other than that, the internet's... <laughs> Just fucking, you ain't just, never lied, bro. It is what it is. I mean, I guess that's a great question. Like, you ever... <clears throat> I mean, your following's pretty decent. You ever receive, like, <laughs> hate? Hate? Actually, I don't. I've never... No, I did receive this real nasty YouTube comment. Are uh, you... Well... <clears throat> Outside of that, I haven't had any hate. Okay, well... But well, this nasty YouTube comment, it was so vicious... And I laughed for two hours afterwards because it was just so, so nasty. <laughs> I took a screenshot and I wanted to post it like on my story one time. This dude was saying, what's with this dude with the Fresh Prince hairstyle? And he said, <laughs> the backup dancers that he probably found in the alley, you all should be ashamed of yourself for putting this video out. And I was what like, God damn. I was like, why did he go so hard? I've never heard of this person before, bro. I was dead. I'm like, yo. And it was the only comment like that. So I just, I had I mean, to screenshot like, it. I had to screenshot it. If that, so, so like, that's the only one you've gotten, though, that you can really remember? Yeah. Oh, I mean. Outside of that, good. everybody, if that's they good. have something to say, they talking to their that's homeboys, they're not putting it on wax. That's good. For the, for the amount of following that you have and for you to only have, like remembered really one like like worth your time yeah other than that like it, it's probably some bot if you get some like hate or some shit like yeah. that you're just like yeah whatever you just ban it at that point but girl like who wants to girl who wants to go on a date mm. type shit <laughs> oh, i love those those are my favorite yeah break my heart but uh i think I, it's just crazy because like at, at my small amount of following like I've received hate Really? Like, yeah, Why? Oh, I mean you such an you seem like a really nice guy I'm, I mean like there was I Mean I've I've had tons of videos up on my channel that I've taken down, but there was nothing like really like graphic or anything prolific said in any of those videos they were just shitty made and like they were like with a like a phone camera type shit just sitting up on on the on the screen or you know just some sh just some stupid shit like that mm. it was never like <clears throat> so like i don't know if it's people trying to like dig shit up or whatever but there ain't there ain't nothing there ain't nothing really like that i've gotten i can't think of like a really nasty comment but like uh like i i think i've like my my most viewed video on YouTube is like two thousand views, oh, plus, nice. and which is at at the time right now from from my standing, it's pretty good yeah. in my eyes. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty big deal. Definitely. So, so uh, I even on there like I've gotten, <clears throat> I think I've gotten, oh man, I think I've gotten some like where it's just like. It's just a game, calm down or some shit like that. Like mm -hmm. it's never it's never been like like now I guess now you that get I think vicious on the games or something? You just I don't know, you never you seen my screaming? most you never seen my most viewed video? I, I didn't see that one. Uh, I will have to I'll have to show you that Put one. Put me that, on that. That's a that's a very that's a very rare one. That that one is is top. Everyone I don't know why that one did so great. We were playing uh <clears throat> Destiny. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know if you know anything about that game, Destiny. It uh, it's it's basically yeah yeah yeah. It's uh, you got the flying suits and whatnot. Sometimes yeah, okay. but uh, it's space space you know Halo game type type yeah. deal. So, uh, in that game you have like six of your friends that do this like mission type deal, and they all have to we all have to come inside and do everything at the right time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it'll take hours on end. To, to get it done because someone won't have the right guns someone won't <clears throat> make it to the other side we can't beat a boss we can't do a sequence right mm -hmm. <clears throat> we keep like you know either dying or or some it's it's some cheap shit so it's a cycle over and over again mm -hmm. and i just and i remember in the game 
Like I would just lose my mind, like a, like a, at this point, because someone would have to make callouts, yeah. you know, on and tell people when to when to throw like bombs and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> the guy that was throwing bombs was being a pussy. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. <laughs> All right. And 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 I was just like, "Fuck this! I'm taking over!" And I, and I just started yelling every callout. Oh and wow. I, and I was screaming. I was like, "Pick up the bombs!" You guys are right because people were arguing, and like you, you motherfucker, you, you blah, 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 blah. I, and I was like, "This is it, all right? Shut up, throw!" Wow. And every, and then it took me to start yelling, and then we won. We we won the whole fucking ring. Oh, nice. So so. I mean, people were outraged over that video. Oh no, they weren't like outraged. I no. was just saying like that's the most like viewed video. Okay. I'll show you it later. Okay. Like I said, it's it's funny as fuck though. But uh, yeah. I'll check it out. What do you say your most uh, listen to song is right now? Um, bad enough. Bad enough. Me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it's the the highest stream song. I don't know if it's the most listened to song right now. So you're on every DSP though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I Every just listened, I just listened on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. I like to. I like to listen on Apple Music. But uh, if you're on Spotify, I, yeah, fuck it. We put the shit on Spotify. So do you get the Spotify check or mm -hmm. something like that? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. They ain't shit, bro. Spotify I mean, do not pay you shit, bro. I mean, I mean, it requires streams, I guess, at that point, though, right? Yeah, like I had a song do. A hundred thousand. I think it's oh, at a hundred and two thousand right now. Oh wow. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see oh, this check. That's man. a bag. Did something. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that's some numbers. Right I there. saw twenty dollars from that. <laughs> twenty dollars from that. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. So I was like. All right, I ain't gonna put as much money in marketing anymore. Like that doesn't make any sense. So you pay for marketing? No. Huh? Yes, you have to pay for marketing. You have to pay for somebody to put your music in front of certain people. You have to pay publicists to get your music into articles and uh, blogs written about you and stuff. Oh, they they're, they're like a PR team that you hire so they can put your name out there so that you look like somebody. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm going to say, you, you, like, you could do all that shit on your own, though, right? It's just ten times harder. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You got to build, like, relationships and that type of shit. And that's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't yeah. got, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I've, I've thought about, like, trying to uh, find a marketing team. Mm -hmm. or something like that and like you know take my small amount of following and see like because <clears throat> you know that's how small time streamers do it they find there's there's tons of like you know small marketing teams and, mm -hmm. and shit like that that do like you know b tier streamers and t content creators on youtube yeah you know? and it, it'll it'll work out you just have to continue rolling the ball and find someone that will support you behind that you know i.e put your videos in playlists <clears throat> like I'm gonna be honest like I'm the only one that takes my videos on my channel and throws them into public playlists I go onto reddit like a fucking nerd take my videos and put them on reddit pages because that's that's really the only way of like promotion because it's like r slash destiny memes or, or, or gaming or some sort of r slash YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, you know, creator uh, page. So I'm the only one that ever really does that, and I'm <laughs> I'm fucking terrible at it. Jeez. I, I'm gonna be honest, cause I don't know if if, if you've seen, but like recently I've uh, like one re another promotion is like like the TikTok shit, you know? Yeah. And like you know, you had to take your song, cut it, and do the short and put it out. Like, do you do that yourself now? Yeah. Or you pay someone to like No, um to get your like music on TikTok and shit. Like, yeah. So like, I just go like through you, uh DistroKid. Okay. They put that shit everywhere. Like it's on Facebook. 
But they do the work and yeah, they put it everything. there. So you could type it in on Facebook and be like, "Oh, this is a song he just put out." You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. But they do all that shit. So that cuts out like a little middleman right there. Well, the editing and everything like that is what I'm asking about. Like, oh, the uh, editing of like songs and stuff. Yeah, like your uh, like your last one, like like the picture of you, like that. Oh, that the promotion, like yeah, the, your last song. Yeah, yeah, I did that myself. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, bro, I actually. I took that picture in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can show you the picture. Like, I'm, like, sitting in front of, uh, this, like, uh, this curtain. So I'm like, eh, I got this idea. I want to do this. Somehow this shit worked out. I don't know. It's got to be the skill. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but see? That picture right there. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, like a curtain down in my living room. I took that picture on my phone. And I think I heard you talk about this after work one day. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I think it, so. You went in through on a, on an app. You said what? You said you you edited through an app on your phone. Yeah. Is it a uh, Pixar? Exactly. That's what I yeah. used to. <clears throat> do Pixar. I do my like thumbnails. All my work. Yeah, I do my thumbnails through that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, man. It's so dope. I'm like, I'm paying a subscription for that shit, bro. All right, yeah. Uh, I, I do to too. Give, I had to give me a subscription on that bitch. Like, that shit Pixar. was dope. Make your thumbnails through there. Yeah. So, it's like I do all my album I'm, covers. Like, I do flyers and shit. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I'm Business cards. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. When it comes to, like, all this editing shit and everything like this, like, this pro program right here, mm -hmm. I should probably, like play around and, and try to find a different uh you know streaming service but i have everything set right now through um stream labs you know transitions you know everything like that um and it's fine but it, it just makes everything so simple like like it's it's all right there like you can see like it says like ending scene starting scene uh -huh. and all that is like preloaded with like you know Startup animations like yeah got the starting scene, see the transition oh and shit like that cam reaction oh that's dope so and it, and like I said it's just so quick and easy and it, and at some point you could just set commands like on your keyboard which is what I really need to do oh nice I'm just lazy I haven't done it yet and you could just press a button and it'll do it itself. You know, man. <clears throat> it's I so usually just be creating those myself. That's that's way easier. What do you mean? Like I had like this this podcast. Let me pull this shit up real quick. Man, so I did this podcast with my sister and we had like a like lot your of your podcast? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did my own podcast with my sister. We wanted to find like another way to work together though. Um, we just she does like um, clothing, and like you know I do like a lot of modeling for her and like oh yeah yeah talent acquisition type of deal. But this right here, this intro. Plus oh, I made, made the, the beat myself. Bro. You made the animation and everything. No, I didn't make the animation for that. Who did the but animation? But you can get like templates. Okay. So I found a template and just inserted like. You Is know, that an online thing? Yeah. I'd have to look it up. I don't know it off the top of my mind. But I have to look I think it up. I used one a long time ago. My intro right now. Have you seen my intro right now? Let me see. I'm, I'm fucking pull it up. Let me see. I'm gonna have to fucking show you on my phone too. Fuck. I gotta see some of this, bro. Like okay. I did it. I I th I did the same thing. Uh. Which one just has like a, <clears throat> a straight intro. A lot of mine have been like real artsy and put my intro at the end. <laughs> For oh. some reason. <laughs> I don't put my intro in them sometimes. Like that shit? Yeah. That's clean. I, I, like got, I, I got that from a website too. Yeah? Like, and I think we, we might be talking about the same website. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> we both go over a lot like... You so wait, man. You you using a website for this, right? Bro, that was like like 
my Cause I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna see. Wife, I did that shit on on like, it was free online. It, it was like they have like this. 3D, Yours was free, bro. It was a 3D render type deal. Like you could go in, and you could change like how the the rotation of the shapes, mm -hmm. and this and the timing of it popping in and everything. But I was like, I just want a template, and I want to tweak it a little bit instead of saying these letters, and I kind of want to make it do a little glitch move as, yeah. as I do. And so it gave me the ability to do that. It took a little template. Yeah. Someone made online free, and they that's what that website is. You just, they make the shit, and you don't have to pay for it. Shit's that right shit there. was free, man? That's crazy. I mean, the same shit for you. That shit was 10 times better than my shit. What the fuck are you talking about? I paid about? $50 for it. Oh. <laughs> $50. What do you mean you pay for Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for the, the template. Template? How you pay fifty dollars for that? There's like, like so nicer ones you can get, like I thought you, HD, oh, 4K okay. type versions. You know what I'm saying? They're they're and those shit. They're for those sure, shits cost money. I think there was like a, a definitely a tier where it was like these are the Gucci belts of yeah. Of and I wanted something that looked like super unique. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god. PewDiePie must have used these fucking things or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I don't know. So probably once pitched to like PewDiePie and he just denied. And he's like, "Yeah, get that shit out of here. I just pay someone to do it themselves. Yeah, so pay an actual animator that knows how to do that shit. Yeah, which man. in reality is probably what should be. At some point, I, like I'm probably gonna, if when I get serious and if I ever do, like I, I do enjoy editing my own videos right now. But, like, if it ever does come to it, like, yeah, I'm trying to find an editor, too. You know, That's like what's it, up. At some point, like, it's just got to be make sure you're recording and, and then you have a steady schedule of upload, you know? Mm -hmm. And then... The schedule is one of them. It's the hardest part. It's a business at that point. Yeah, and it's like, you know... It's a business at that point. It's a <laughs> brand. It's a brand. That's what I was, uh, you know... Funny thing, last night I, at, at this house party, mm -hmm. um, I met this guy. He does patenting. Like he he seals like the ideas on like, like like making sure like oh that's not already been done like, oh, shit, like okay. inventions and shit like that. And I was like oh, oh shit okay so like you he's like yeah I work for the government essentially. And I was mm -hmm. like oh okay. No, that's cool though. It's like he's like. Yeah, I make sure no one's either done it before or something like that. And he's like, it's funny, I used I used a YouTube video the other day to make sure that <clears throat> no one did this idea. And he was like, and I found out, like, it was, like, already done. And wow. I, and it was like, it's that simple. Like, my job is, like, to make sure that shit like that hasn't been done. Hmm. And we can give it the seal of approval. We just go into ultimate research mode. Uh, not a patent on my logo, uh, uh, just the, uh... Uh, copyright? Copyright, I think. Okay. Ooh, some, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, just to make sure, like, no one else has, like, like, I can keep Nikki J mm -hmm. and everything like that, you know, if it ever does become serious at right. some point. But I don't know. Wh whoever knows, whatever happens, happens. I'm just doing this right now for, for fun. Hmm. And, yeah, uh, that's how a lot of times things <clears> start. You know, you just wind up doing some shit for fun. Then they wind up evolving and taking over your livelihood. That's the problem. People try to try to force shit. Like like this shit was just like like on the cool. It's just like hey, yeah. well, you're like you do a podcast. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't want to. I was like, I didn't want to really. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting to really push my YouTube channel at work. I didn't <laughs> want. Trust me, with all the people that I met at work, I've been like. I'm not gonna tell everyone yet. I'm not gonna tell everyone yet. I'm not gonna. Because you're not ready for it yet. The scheduling and all that. Well, I just don't wanna. I don't wanna tell people about like my YouTube channel. Is what I'm saying. Why not? No, it's just like it feels like sellout type shit. Kind of, you know. It's sellout. Like, yeah, it feels like sellout type. Bro. Shit. Pe tell people that I do streams or or like that. Like myself, like I said, Nikki J has a brand. That yeah. I'm trying to be. I don't wanna be like. Hey y'all. You know, I got no, as shit a brand, dropping. here's the thing. Like, there's something you got to learn right here. As a brand, you are your best marketer before you even hire anybody else. Oh, for sure. Like, 
a lot of times I don't tell people about what I do because somebody else is going to tell them for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't tell anybody that, you know, I did music like that. Mm -hmm. Tim told everybody I do music like that. Oh, yeah. Mr. Tunes told sh everybody. Shout out, shout out, Tunes. Yeah. He's got one soon. He'll be, he'll be up here soon. But it's like somebody talked to somebody who talked to Tunes, and then... It was like the person I talked to, he was like, yeah, you should link with him. And I was like, all right. So I talked to Toons. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you you always remember what everybody's talking about and stuff. But then you wind up with some other people across the room that you never met before. Mm -hmm. And somebody or somebody or somebody who knows him. You know what I'm saying? Then you linked instantly. That's how it works. Yeah, man. So like that's how me and him wanted to be cool. So I, I wasn't broadcasting anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But normally you have to broadcast somebody. If yeah. you're starting or else nobody's oh, going to know what you're doing. I trust me. I've done it. <clears throat> it's been years and years of just pushing myself mm -hmm. already. It's been... <clears throat> it's kind of weird. Like some some points like I... Uh, I like that humble shit too, by the way. Like you didn't even tell me. It just kind of came up. Yeah, I do a podcast. Like, what the fuck? You do a podcast? Yeah, I didn't want to... Um, well, cause trust me, trust me, how I felt when I when I heard when I heard they were like, uh, "Hey man, these guys do music." I was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I know somebody told you. That. So uh, that shit crazy. It was like uh, no, it was Alex. It yeah. was Alex. It was White Alex. Oh okay, okay. And he told me that. Shout out to Chapo. Oh my God, dude. Uh, he fucking, yeah, he was the first person I worked with and he just cracked me up that whole day and he, he told me about y'all and I was like, oh shit. I was like, no nah, man, I gotta take time, put my time in, say, say what's up, you know, just do my job and, and get cool with everyone as time goes on and then like, here we are. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I was saying, here. you gotta, you can't be like, hi. <laughs> you, you know, shit, type man. Shit. I'd be like that, bro. Some, sometimes. Like, I usually, like, if I'm trying to find out some information, somebody told me somebody about Duke, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yeah, I need to talk to this person. Mm. That's like, I just, I don't know. I'm just like, yeah. if same I'm trying thing. to know some information and we in the same room, I'm going I'm to just go see what's up. Exactly. Exactly. However, I understand your, your edge, though, because it's like some people don't really seem that approachable. So you like, mm, maybe I'll put some time in before I meet this person. Well, yeah, I just, yeah. You just, you know, I'm not from here. So it's just like, you gotta, you know. Feel everybody else. Yeah, it's just like, a, like it, I've, even, it, I have tried to equate, like, maneuvering relationships like that in any way. Uh -huh. you, know, you just gotta take, like, even, like, even with, with like, a shorty, like, like, you know, take your time. Just don't fucking... Yeah. Don't jump straight first base, homie. You can't, yeah. you can't be like, hey, yo, hop on the podcast, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy amount of people who don't know me who do that shit. That's wild. Well, that's that's the problem. People don't establish relationships yeah. first before. I mean, people say relationships make business bad, but like, as long as you're cool with each other and <clears throat> when it comes to, if there ever is, I don't make no bread for the from <laughs> from from the YouTube videos. I'm gonna let you know. But, oh, okay. Uh, but when it comes to breaking bread with your homies, as long as y'all are straight, yeah. and cordial, shit'll work out. You know. Yeah. And and just have common communication. Yeah. Which is unfortunately a problem amongst like other podcasters, obviously. Yeah. So people people hate always fighting for the bag. So. Big fact. It tears apart like a lot of people, a lot of artists, groups. Obviously, like the the content Spotify, creators, the Spotify shit it. though. Like like that's one right there though. Like you said, they sent you twenty dollars, twenty dollars, mm -hmm. unacceptable for a hundred k. They sent me like a a little banner. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> no, it was a it was a digital banner. Oh, you know sorry. what I'm saying? Like you go into Spotify for artists, and it's like digital banner. Uh, hey, you did a hundred thousand streams. Like, uh, cool. I guess. Thanks. Okay. I guess it's a milestone. I mean, I mean I'll probably. Let me give you twenty dollars for your efforts. I was like, 
Wow. I can't tell you, bro. I can't wow. wait. I can't wait for the day that I get like that stupid little gold play button. If yeah. I get one. No, honestly, man, I rock with YouTube a little bit harder than Spotify. I say you got a gold play button? No, no, I don't. You don't? No. Yeah. No. How many subs you got on your team? I can't call. I can't recall right now. I can't call. Is your YouTube really up like uh, like your Instagram set up like your Instagram? You put all your shit up on there and everything like that too. No, dog. I'm lazy with my YouTube, bro. I'm I'm lazy. I got a lot of content on there right you, now. You know, it's like YouTube for some reason is like one of the best business switches right now. Yeah, for that's like what I'm content. hearing. Like people are leaving Twitch to go live stream on YouTube. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Wow. Because because they're. T Twitch is doing some great. Well, a lot of shit is happening there. They're allowing a lot of shit that it, they shouldn't allow, in general. Huh. But like, I mean, I won't. I won't speak on that because I, I like. I mean, I stream on Twitch. You know, I, right now, I think Twitch is, for some reason, the base streaming place that I'm gonna do. Because I tried to multi-stream one time. And I think it's causing problems. My stream keeps crashing after an hour, so I think YouTube only uh, lets you multi-stream for so long. So there's, I gotta do something either in the setup or, or I have to hit some sort of requirement uh, mm. within there to be able to have multi-stream ability. Mm. Um, but when I stream on Twitch, I can stream for hours and hours. I can have an eight-hour stream. Mm. One. Which I've done. I've done, you know, daily sh streams sometimes. But, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I said this or not. I've actually got my first ever check from Twitch. Or, or I think I said this at work. I got my first ever check from Twitch like, uh, like three, three weeks ago or some shit. Or not three weeks. It was a, it was maybe a month or something like that ago. I was streaming pretty, pretty heavily. Shout out to Codename Tufu. He, he dropped a bomb. On my subs, he dropped a 60 sub. You know what 60 subs is? So, a subscription on on Twitch is basically five five dollars or six six bucks for a month, a month subscription of no ads and everything like that on your on your account. So people don't have to watch ads; they can just watch your stream and and just kick back and relax. Do the math, like 60 subs six dollars that's like three three hundred something like that bucks like Whoa. at least something like that i can't i can't do math wow so, so wow so like i got my check and <laughs> i got like 113 or 130 31 something like that and it was just automatically deposited in my bank, and I looked at the bank statement, and it said... Wait, how much did you say again? 131. Jesus. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah? I was like, I can't remember. They didn't... That was before the deal that they just had. I'm not sure what it was. It was like a 50-50 like a deal that that's what they used to have with their streamers. Now it's 70-50. Or hmm. seventy thirty, not not fifty. See, like I said, I can't do fucking math. I'm an idiot, <laughs> motherfucker. But seventy um, thirty? Yes, I think seventy thirty, right? Huh? I still can't do math, huh? <laughs> no, seventy seventy thirty is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, is that right? That's hundred percent, at least right at that yeah. point. Okay. I'm <laughs> I swear, bro. Yeah. I swear, yeah. bro. I swear. But uh, yeah, no, they just switched to that deal. Probably about last month. Mm -hmm. So, but I've received my check before that. So I think I was in the fifty-fifty deal. Oh. Okay. Before that, I I signed up for the pay el eligibility because I I reached sixty followers or something like that. Uh -huh. Once you reach sixty followers, you're eligible for sign up for pay. Set up a PayPal account linked up to it, or you can uh, direct link like a direct deposit towards your bank, which uh -huh. is what I did. And voila! I, I, one day I check my bank account says <clears throat> Twitch paid me. Wow! I'm fucking turned. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, it took me twelve years. Like I started my channel in 2012. 
That's well, what it says. My YouTube channel. It says it started like May 2012, I think, something like that. I gotta remember that. I don't do anniversaries or anything like that. I need to do that more. But uh, I've I've been do I've been working for at least like as a as a as a kid, I guess at this point to be like, man, I would love to get paid to play video games. Yeah. Essentially, that's what that was right there. You yeah. Know? And to see th like that, <clears throat> it's it wasn't much. And obviously, I haven't gotten a check ever since. But like, oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Well, that's just because, like I said, it's because homie donated so much. Like right there, my mm -hmm. stream basically accrued a lot of money due to the AdSense and how much it costs for a subscription. So. I get like, I don't know, f five dollars or how I can't even remember what it is. Five or six dollars for a subscription. Five dollar. Yeah, but uh, I mean they take a percentage of that five, so I get like two thirty something or wow some shit like that each subscription. I guess that that's what it is. So. So are people switching to YouTube? Well, see, that's what Twitch. That's what Twitch is. That's what Twitch is right there. Yeah. I don't know what YouTube's live stream. YouTube has the same ability, though. You can do donate through them and everything like that. You can go through a subscription based where an ad won't r roll as well. Yeah. Um, even though you're already subscribed to someone and you watch them live, I don't think. I think ads are going to roll still. Uh, but that's when I think there's a. There's another tier, obviously. I think they've just enrolled another tier of like support if you want and I I'm not in that I have to reach like like I look at my YouTube chart every day it says like you have to reach like four four thousand hours of watch time yeah and a thousand, a thousand subscribers yeah. yeah so so once you reach there you're eligible for pay yeah you can sign up like you're no is W9 or whatever the fuck mm. can't remember whatever it is but it's a Google AdSense basically at that point uh -huh. so you get paid through Google and the ads that be rolling through the videos and then Google and then your shit just if you're getting views at that point I think you're 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 more likely to be put in the algorithm like once uh -huh. you I mean obviously your hours your watch time you know subscribers You'd be signing up for, for the AdSense. You get put in the algorithm more, probably. Oh. So, probably. Is it the AdSense? Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's called AdSense anymore. Oh. But that's what they call it. Google AdSense. Cool beans. So, some nerd shit. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. I didn't know that. Where are we at? I mean, I knew about the subscription shit, but like. Yeah. The, um. Other thing. But we gotta get your YouTube going, dog. Alright, man. Like, like, bro, if you check my shit out, dog, I got some cool shit on there. Like, I was dropping beats weekly. I was doing a podcast weekly. And then, like, life, bro. Yeah. No, Mental health, all that shit, trying to get that together. No, that's how it go. I mean, like... But now I'm good, and I've been lazy. I'm yeah. being honest with you. <clears throat> I guess, real, real quick, yeah, I mean... You don't have to go too deep, but like, like you said, life like has it gotten in the way, like like a like a personal like issue. Like you said, you don't feel like uploading or something like that, dropping a yeah, song and shit like that. Yeah, like life you're just getting like a stuck, a stuck feeling. Not like a creative like way. But yeah, like, just like outside. It's like I just don't. I don't want. I don't want to do this right now. Yeah. I I gotta get like myself straight. Yeah. Like, have you ever felt like that? Like, yeah. Like, with your music shit? It happened like that a lot with music. It happens with the YouTube shit. You know, you just, everybody just goes through some life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just... You, everything's going great. You're doing this, and then something hits you over the head, and then you gotta, like, pause for a second and get your shit back together. A lot of people normally don't try and get their shit back together, which is why I think everybody here is insane, bro. <laughs> like nobody taking care of their mental health nobody. but that's I was doing of, good like I was doing amazing in 2020 and then some mental health shit happened like, I had to take a break from music I mean that's kind of essentially like that's kind of I had to stop 
take a step back and, and that's why I kind of like moved here, uh -huh. you know, type shit. Like just. Did you have family here? No. <clears throat> we, no, I was we, just, just the homies. You just knew people here. I played video games with these guys and oh. I moved up here. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I believe you don't know anybody here. Just, just I know these guys. Oh my god, games. that's crazy. It's just friends. That's know? wild. No family. No. I've never heard anything like that. That's powerful shit. Well, it's just like it's like, like you said. On I guess it was like on some like mental health shit. Like I had to step back and reevaluate my life and see like, all right, I can already tell this is what I'm gonna be doing in Texas for the next year or two and a half. I need to either A, climb higher, which is going to require, obviously, ten times harder work in electrical, um, or find another outlet in electrical, I guess, that can support me yeah. and keep going. The job that I had fine was fine down there. They, I, I had worked consistently. Yeah. Like I said, I was building Amazons and... Uh, I was working basically for another uh, contracting company. Yeah. You know, so I'd be contracting from company to company to company. You know, when they needed extra manpower. Okay. So, <clears throat> or help with like some shit that they couldn't figure out, and sometimes I'd be like, "Oh, I got this shit. Yeah, I know how to do this, 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 this right here. Mm -hmm. right, I'll see y'all later. On to the next one." And so, but going from that, it's just. The, <clears throat> I, get, I get in these these routes where I'm just like I don't like I said it's been a the last podcast like I I wanted to make this podcast more consistent mm -hmm. you know like you said you probably want to make your podcast more consistent too mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do the podcast thing anymore I had a nice setup but I don't think I want to do it anymore. Well, we could just make make some content. There's like, yeah, I'm down to make content. Just, just, just make, yeah. Because it's like, I find like me and my sister, we work better like on, on different, different stuff. You got areas for like studio and shit like that? No. <laughs> you know if there's like, like places where like we could film a podcast or something like that? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you got areas like that, then. Yeah. I, I'm trying to get like a laptop, I think right now. I know a two podcast areas that rents out. There's one by this guy named Dean Beans. <laughs> okay. Respect. Well, I on guess the name. he used to he used to go by rinsing Cool Beans. Okay. And then he went to Cool Beans. Okay. And now he's Dean Beans. Okay. Dean Beans. Yeah. But, like, he's got, like, this podcast studio that he rents out that's state-of-the-art real nice. Okay. And then there's another spot in downtown Detroit. It's in the Foundation Hotel. Oh. They got, like, this real cool podcast area with big-ass windows so you can see, like, the Detroit street behind that you. sounds hard as fuck. Really nice. Dude. That place rents out, too. Foundation Hotel. Real nice spot. So, if you know how to rent that place out and everything... I mean, I would just assume you just contact Foundation Hotel. Oh, okay. Cough up, cough up some cheddar. Cough up some cheddar. I'll go. I'll go down on some cheddar if you if you want to start doing some podcasting and some shit. But it'd be a, it would be nice. We gotta make sure we see shit and we get. If you got people that want that are down to share their stories, like other rappers and shit yeah. like that, like you obviously know a bunch of other. I know. I know a lot of people. A bunch of other people that do music and shit like that, mm. so... That's why my sister had me doing talent acquisition for her brand. Oh, yeah. She was real nice. Bro, I got her this connection with this um, this legendary producer. His name is... Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Nick Speed. Okay. His name is Nick Speed. He's produced for G-Unit, Eminem... 50 Cent. Big, big shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Legendary producer. I used to record in his studio. Right. And then one time I came to shoot a video and my sister was putting, like, some of, like, her gear on me. Yeah. And then he looked over at me. He was like, yo, this is dope. Like, where'd you get that from? Like, my sister. She made this. He was like, you got another one? And she's like, yeah. And then he's just 
<laughs> all over the place, like taking pictures in this shirt all over the place. So I was like, yo, man, this shit is crazy. She was like, yeah, I need you to, I need you to keep wearing my shit. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. So like I get a bunch of exclusive shit and I just go places. Right, right. And usually somebody asks me about it so I don't have to say nothing because I think she that dope. So you talk to Nick Speed? Yeah. All right. I got his phone number. Damn, he sound like he'd be interesting for for a podcast. Is what you're saying? Then I mean, like, Maybe. if you got some stories, I, I shit. I've only ran into him like a handful of times, but he treats me like family every time I see him. I think he's just that type of dude. We're gonna get this other podcast going with tunes, for and sure, then, and then try to get this podcast ball rolling a little bit more, and then if you're down, let's see let's see what we can get popping like for with, sure. with the podcasting. Make it, yeah, man. You don't have to do the work for it, but you we could do like a like where, where you host it. Oh, rebrand the podcast or some shit like that. That's some crazy shit. You just offered me a job on air, like <laughs> not a job, <laughs> but it'd be this like, it'd be crazy. like a, just an idea. It's just presenting an idea. Yeah, that's a cool. different show. We could yeah. do a new show, and like like I said, I'd just bring the equipment. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm saving for like a a badass laptop. Right yeah. now, so I can take back home, and because I'm I plan on flying back home in, in here a lot, oh. so I mean it's fucking home, you know. Yeah. I want to make like tons of vlogs, like a like trip vlogs going back to Texas. Yeah. Like essentially going back to Texas, like that's that's what I'm gonna be doing in December for my birthday. Uh -huh. So uh, when I do that, I'm gonna just be doing a staycation basically at that point, and I'm just like thank God. Cause anything, <laughs> when I lived there, man, it was just like, oh, I have to fucking work when I'm home. <laughs> Damn. So, I every I don't have to do shit. I, I get to spend weekdays where people are working, and I just sit there and be a freeloader because I'm not from you there anymore. Create a lot of content in that time. That's what shit. I'm gonna. That's that's the, that's the plan. I'm gonna be hanging out with the unemployed that I know there, <laughs> <laughs> and and being like, yo, let's go do some shit. Let's go, Dave. How long are you supposed to be there? The 13th through the 27th. Jesus. So I know for work. Jesus. Uh, I know work. I'm I'm going to work like one or two days, and then I'm going to be like, all right, sorry. I'll see you all later. So, so I hope all goes well. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too, man. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's It's kind of like. I've been operating on that. We'll cross that road when we get there. Mm -hmm. Ideology, right. and it's been all right so far. Like I said, like I, I had to step back and reevaluate, and you know, be like, all right, well, I'll worry about how much money I have whenever I'm on the road driving to Michigan. Yeah, <clears throat> we'll cross that road when we get there. I was fine. I was straight. Yeah, okay. I told myself I needed. I said I need five racks. To move uh -huh. from one state to another, I didn't have five ranks. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was impressive. You got here. You made it work. No, but I mean, like I had enough. I had enough for sure. And then, you know, just the plan right now is like, save the cheddar. You know, hopefully, tr the the main goal was to get people out of basements. Yeah. The homies that we I've played video games with my whole life, and yeah. we're gonna all get a content house, hopefully, or get a rent a house or some shit like that. Oh, that's dope. I don't know. Tunes always be talking about houses that he has and everything like that. Yeah, Tunes said something about like this idea he had about like getting like a content house, like a content. He building. said that too. Yeah. No way he said the same fucking thing. Yeah, he was saying that he wanted to oh. maybe get something in Detroit. You honestly, you should just talk to him and y'all do it together. You know what I'm saying? Like that makes sense because he's like, you know, we will just put some capital together. We'll have one room that's a studio. I'm building all my one room that's right a now. dance studio. One room that's this. One maybe we have a stage in another room. And I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. He's, he's, he's kind of like on a type of, He's kind of like on a type of time that I want to be on. Like, yeah. yeah. I want to build like brands and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I feel him. Uh, 
like I said, last night was the first night that I hung out with him. He, he's a cool dude. Mm -hmm. I fuck with him. He's a cool dude outside of work. He's cool inside work. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... <laughs> he be like, I gotta clarify that. Yeah, yeah. He gonna be you. over here. He, he gonna fuck me up. Nah, he gonna see this. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna see this. I know. Really? So, but, uh... Man. I don't know. I just think it's crazy that, that I've gotten to this point. To where I was able to just, like, be able to meet you guys. Because, I mean... I'm gonna be honest, you're, you're a real genuine person. Oh, I thanks. I, I wouldn't have asked you to come on here if, if you know, if I didn't think you were, you know? Right. I mean, like, like, you, like, honestly, like, at work, you, you guide, you teach people how to do shit, you know? Yeah. It's, like, even outside of, like, the music, like, it's, you're just a great person. So, to oh, find people thanks, like that is, like, hard to find. And, like, all my parents said, like, coming up here, they were, like, a, they're like the north. The northern people are like assholes. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, I hear that a lot. And I was like, oh shit, okay, well, I'll be sure. So yeah, I mean, I met some dickheads for sure, but like, oh yeah, nah, nah I appreciate I you coming up here, bro. No problems, bro. Thank you for having me. I thought it'd come again sometime. This shit was super chill. So, uh, you want to give people your your uh, your socials again? You want to? I'm gonna. Put it in the fucking oh, yeah, description. Or do you have anything that you got to say before? We're, I, I think we're coming up on an hour now. Uh, I think uh, the only thing... I'm putting out a song November 4th. November 4th? Bro, I totally skipped all the topics on my on my phone. I had topics on my phone. We did, oh, shit. We did great. Yeah. Like, I had topics that I needed to talk about. I think that was perfect. Fuck the phone topic, in my <laughs> opinion. Yeah. But, but yeah, you got another song coming out. You said I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like an old song, but I played it for Tunes, and he was like, "Yo, man, this is this will be like a low key hit." And I was like, "Never heard that before." I just really liked the song. When I was planning on putting out an album, it was my favorite song. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just not dropping an album because like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? You just drop yeah. singles, keep dropping singles. You gonna drop like a little tape? Uh, usually if I drop a little tape it's like a beat tape okay you know what I'm saying like yeah. I just dropped a beat tape this year okay had like 10 tracks on it so I'm like there you go now I'll just give you guys singles you know what I'm saying okay. cause it keeps I feel like it keeps the relevance more than so than like you spend like a bunch of time creating like 10-15 songs you put it out and it's gone you know what I'm saying right. as opposed to putting out a single right. and people keep saying oh shit he dropped again oh shit he dropped right. again right. you know what I'm okay. saying so, yeah, this was my favorite song off of that album. But uh, it's dropping the 4th of uh, November? November. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. You ready for, I'm so fucking ready for Thanksgiving, bro. Yeah, me too. Dude, I'm ready for the beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit going bang, bro. My sister make this crazy mac and cheese. Bro, Ooh. I hope, I hope, bro, if we don't do, like, some fucking potluck at work or some shit like that, yeah. I'm going to be upset. Yeah. If if people like, I'm ready to make some cornbread. That's what I want to make. Some cornbread. Dude, Ooh. cornbread's my favorite thing to make in any. Like, I like sweet cornbread. Ooh. So, but I'll make like regular cornbread. Like, Ooh. so sweet cornbread. I'm from the south, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like me some sweet cornbread. So. But and regular cornbread. Regular, regular. You ever had jalapeno cornbread? No. Why would you? That's why would somebody? <laughs> <laughs> why would somebody do that? I don't know. Some shit my dad likes, bro. My dad's like, oh, can you put jalapenos in the cornbread? He asked my mom. It's spicy cornbread. Jalapenos and why would it's like jalapeno want, why cheddar. Why would you want something that's spicy? Jalapeno and dry. cheddar. And you put, they put the cheddar on it. It kind of like yeah soaks it in and shit like that. Oh, I can't see myself doing that. It's it's weird. Is it's it? not something I like. I, <laughs> it's I've, not something I've been, I like. Trust me, I've been into the cornbread one day. Like, mm, this is gonna be a sweet, cakey, cornbread. Hey. Nope, bitch was fucking. Damn. I was like straight jalapeno. I was not ready for that taste. Damn, bro. I was young as fuck though, so I that was just like I didn't know. So I was just like, mm. Mm. damn, damn. dummy. So. But uh, can't call it. Yeah. <laughs> so can't call it. we need to do it like a like a little 
well, something like, like a, a a friend's giving at work or some shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that shit would be dope. So, but uh, yeah, man. I, again, I appreciate you coming up here. He was like, "What was that?" No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I feel like we could talk on for hours, but uh, yeah. I didn't want to keep you too late. So, oh, that's straight, man. So once again, uh. I appreciate you coming up up here, bro. Thank Again, Jashar, everyone. Hey. Thank y'all for watching. Hey. It's been your boy, Nicky J. Hey. And I'll see y'all in the next one.